Hello YouTube. Today I present a very old analog meter. It's pre World War II and it's made by a German company called EAW or EAW. And it's slightly different and has a rather unusual operation. First, when you it's already powered up here, we got uh, 30 volts and a little bit higher. I go there within a few minutes. Why it's sli slightly higher than 30 volts? And you can select here, you read out, read out is nothing. You have to push this button first to get a proper reading. And by doing this, the meter goes up. And here we got a slightly, this meter loads the circuit. And of course you have to uh, put it fully on the horizontal to do a proper measuring. And it's spot on, 30 volts fully full scale and it's about 30 volts read out here and we got uh, 30 volts over here as well this is running <laughs> as well because I, <laughs> I love this meter anyway um, and you can't uh, work the switch right now you have to release it to do some changes over here and it's do measures uh, AC voltage and current and DC Okay, current. here we go again. You can to have a clear view what's over here and um, I go back to the ACs Oh, well let's do a different one without wiring up anything again. We wire anything again. Let's put this over here and this out of camp's view. So uh, doesn't want to. Sorry. This over here. Come stay away. Mm. Okay, hello again. This is still reading DC current. We got 600 milliamps over here and 600 spot on over here. Hopefully. Yeah, spot on. Way cool for 1940s around instrument. Excellent, cool. I love this. I really love this. So I take it out of the, the meter, but the current, uh, the, the circuit is under current. It's running. Still running. Okay, take this off. <coughs> Go for one amp. Huh? Go for one amp. like this set it over here and engage it so one amp yeah 1500 full scale divided by 2 20 represent one amp excellent work spot on I think yes spot on 1940 something cool this back. Uh, let's check. Mm -hmm. it's a bit different to set it up. Just want to go for the. So 
let's see here 150 full scale 100 is mm, uh, spot on I think because this is changing as well as this one because I have to set it up very different for the low current measuring but this is okay for me see the changes here changes here correspond nicely okay that's for the milliamps DC milliamps AC mm, not yet I need to do a little circuit to show this but uh, I think I don't care about AC milliamps. I need DC voltages and currents mostly. So let's check the DC voltages again for your pleasure. So over here, this is correspond to the minus right now. Over here, minus over here. The yellow is minus over here as well. I like these old fashioned meters very much. I put this over here as well and to give a proper reference for the this is hundred volts, it's okay. This one just hundred fifty volts. Um this needs a I got the blue over here. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so here we go. So blue, blue. So positive. Mm, just choose 30 volts again. And over here, have uh, one digit more. Put this side by side. And here we go again for 30 volts. Come on, slightly a little, little more, a little more. Yes, go over here, 30 volts full scale, and push the button. Reload the circuit again, and reset it to full scale 30 volts, hopefully. So, 30 volts on the fluke, and here we go. A slightly less than 30 volts. If you read this carefully, you can read um, about 9, 5, and this is in between 9, 8, I think. Very cool for such an old instrument. So, an instrument, uh, it goes right. mm. we go for the 15 volt. And set it up to no, this one here, 10 volts, and take the reading, take this meter out, and do measurements again. Come on, to put this uh, 10, 10, oh, and we, we got to reload the circuit again. And we adjust this for 10 volts. Foot scale. No, not foot scale. 10 volts spot, I hope. Get it. Yeah, okay, it's 10. Okay, that's for this right now. I just put this off. And leave this off. And here are the instructions. So, so this, uh, these are the instructions how the meter works and how to operate it properly and the most important is about here it's about 20k per volt and for the DCs and for the a ACs is 
only 2k per volt hope you can read it as well and made in Germany of course no Eastern Germany were presented those days okay now I open it up along with you I didn't I haven't gone inside before it's for me the first as well and let's see what's inside so okay let's open this Very good screwdriver for little screws. So I don't want to damage them. So over there, like this, and I can have this. This one is the last one, I hope. So, mm, that should do it for the cup. Oh. So, I hope you can see this as well. A very cool old switch. It's all made of bakelite. Bakelite, I don't know the English word. And we got the wire around for the uh, ACs. And some of some yeah, with all the I can't read and not to be I have to unsolder this. Hope you see it. That's cool. That's good. Uh, Let's do the this over here. You can have a little better view inside what's inside here. It's a very cool switch. Let's see how it works. As I push this, what happened here? I don't know. Yes, I don't know what happened inside. Can't see anything here. It's all covered. Maybe something inside here. No. No, see, this one here is coming out. So, I like this. I don't want to disassemble this one here. Anyway, this is the top. Like this, like that. And can operate the switch, and if it's down, it's not possible anymore. I have to release this first to rotate it. Nice, nice. So here we go for the scale and uh, let's see the uh, horizontal, it's horizontal, it's meter movements and uh, accuracy for DC and AC and here EAW. This is class one, I think, and over here this is the serial number i think and this is it for the readout okay and here's the plugs in the middle is plus and the outers are outers are minus if I pull it around mm, nothing to see here I don't want to disassemble this all together. So let's leave it for this. I close this one up and clean it up as well. And we lubricate the, the switch because it's, uh, I think it works better when it's real lubricated. Okay, bye bye YouTube. Thanks.